Hi there, I'm Matt Holland and you're watching Irish Football Fan TV. Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. This is my match reaction from Wales 4, Ireland 1. What an absolute shambolic display of football from an Irish perspective. Um, I mean, two goals within the first 20 minutes. It was an absolute shit show. Um, you know, I can't, I can't remember last time we started the game so badly. Uh, you're looking at it. Um, Tom Lawrence's goal, he took it very well. Um, then Gareth Bale's goal. I mean, you're looking at it and you're looking at, you know, Everybody knows who Gareth Bale is. Everybody knows what Gareth Bale's all about. And you give him that time, you give him that space to cut in on his left foot. He's going to punish you. It's it's you know common knowledge that he's going to punish you. Like and uh, it's it's the usual shite with with, with us. You know, it's the same with Ericsson in uh, in Dublin when he scored as well. You know, give him the time and let him shoot. And he's gonna punish us, and that's exactly what happened. And we're two 0 down within the first 17 minutes, and we've nowhere to go. I mean, we don't score enough goals as it is anyway. So the fact that we go two 0 down, and you know, we look lost for ideas, we lost for identity once again. It's the same old shite with Martin O'Neill and Roy Keane, and that's the sad, harsh reality of it. And until we get rid of them, it's gonna be the same old crap. Um, I understand there was injuries, I understand that there was um, a fallout in the camp, but who's to blame on that? You know, it's the management's fault to fix these things. If I have a fallout with my manager and work, I talk to him, I fix it, I either leave or I get on with it. It's one or the other. And in football, most of the time, generally, people get on. You look at Jonathan Walters, he got on with it. Anyway, that's a story for a different day. But you know, like, our lineup just confused the absolute fuck out of me. You're looking at it, it's uh, O'Dowda and Hurahan and so it was Christie on the wing. Makes no sense. We were utter shite from the word go. I think Coleman gets the ball in the, within the first couple of seconds and makes the balls of it. And that set the tone for the whole game. We were just absolutely shite. Um, obviously, you know, Ramsey gets the third goal. Um, but we never look like ever getting a goal. We carry on to the second half, they get their fourth. Then we get a goal through Sean Williams. He took it well, he capitalised on the defensive mistake from the Welsh. But it's, it's, it's what I'm saying is you look at the Welsh team, you know, Chris Coleman left. So Chris Coleman left and they get, it, uh, they get in Ryan Giggs, a manager with fresh ideas, a manager with a whole new philosophy and, you know, brings in young players. And Ethan Apadu, uh, Ampa, sorry, um, was absolutely outstanding in the middle of the park. He made our midfield look like a bunch of amateurs. Premier League players playing in there beside him uh, in Hendrick and then you look at Hoor and Huey these players are not international level players as much as we want to laud them when they do well in the championship they are not international players we are looking at the likes of Conor Hoorahan who cannot step up by the looks of things and you know that was not a great midfield they were up against today and they made them look like absolute world beaters obviously Gareth Bale's world class but the rest of them aren't and they're just, they're going on as if, you know, oh, well, poor little Ireland. Wales are the exact same. The only difference is they have a world-class player in Gareth Bale. That's the only difference between us and Wales. You look at their goalkeeper and their back four, maybe besides uh, Davis, the left back. Not really any of them are worth anything at all. <sighs> We've lost 4-1 to Wales. You know, and that's not taking any credit away from Wales. They were they were magnificent. Um, the crowd got behind the whole game. And that's not to say that the Irish crowd weren't behind the Ireland team because they were throughout the whole game. The Ireland team, you heard the Ireland fans were got behind the team, but it's not going to change under O'Neill and Keane and until we we realise this. I mean, I, I did an interview with John Hartson the other day, and he was saying, you know, we've got to back the manager. We've got to we've given him a new contract. We didn't back him. The FAI backed him. We didn't back him. And no one's made a big enough case about this. O'Neill and Keane need to go. And that's the harsh reality of it. And if, if you disagree, you know, let me know in the comments. But 
as far as I'm concerned, we need a new manager with new philosophies who's going to pick in players who want to actually play for him and not have people scared to come to the camp because they want to fight with the, the assistant manager. It's an absolute abysmal display and, you know, I don't even know where to go with this. Like, I'm looking at the polling game and struggling to think, how are you going to... Uh, you know, we were lucky against a very poor USA team. Very poor USA team. And then we got stuffed by Turkey and we got stuffed by France. And nothing's really changed since the Denmark game. And, uh, you know, I've rambled on here and I'm really, really not in the mood because this this is my first away game and this was supposed to be a joyous occasion. And, you know, credit to the, to the FA of Wales. They looked after me. I had nice seats. Everything was perfect. But except for the result because... We just were incompetent and everything else. But uh, look, that's been my match reaction. Um, let me know, are, are you in favour of Martin O'Neill to be still manager or would you like to see him go and someone like maybe Chris Hewton come in? Let me know in the comments because I would love to know and I would love to hear from you guys. Um, and uh, as always, don't forget to subscribe and uh, if you like this video, drop a like. Tell us why you like this video and if you dislike this video, drop a dislike and tell me why you did not like this video. Thank you very much for watching our Football Fan TV. On to the next one.